Now, okay, we are working with a system of differential equations, and we have y1 prime equals negative 8y1 minus 2y2, and the second one is y2 prime equals 2y1 minus 4y2. Now, this is going to be one of those situations, just to give you a heads up what's coming, where we're going to have multiplicity. Okay, here you can see this is the formula that this fits to. We have the y prime, right? These two. We have matrix A and the y. These two are in bold because they, they are vectors. So if you break them up right here, and this one's right here, and our matrix A. Now, in bold, I'm not going to write stuff in bold. So instead of marking vectors with bold, I'm just going to write the normal y with a little squiggly under it so here for example y vector is y1 and y2 which is this one right here so first up let's find our eigenvalues uh, here's a little reminder in case you forgot where eigenvalues and eigenvectors come from we have this equation right this is our eigenvalue eigenvector and this one is the same thing as this one just a little bit modified so we're going to work to find our eigenvalues, and that's going to be finding the determinant of a minus lambda i equals 0. Let's go ahead and find that. Here it is, my matrix A minus the lambda for the two diagonals, right, equals 0. Now let's solve the determinant. Is this times this minus this times this. Here it is simplify it and then we can see that we're gonna get lambda plus 6 in parentheses on the square equals 0. From here we can see that our two roots for this equation will be lambda 1 negative 6 lambda 2 negative 6. So therefore we have one eigenvalue with a multiplicity of 2. Next step let's start working on our eigenvectors. Here's the equation now, lambda 1, lambda 2, both equal negative 6. So that's what we're going to plug in right here. Instead of lambda, the negative 6. My, our, my uh, matrix A minus the eigenvalue on the diagonal times my x vector, x1 and x2, equals the 0 vector, 0, 0. Now, if you work this out and turn it into equations, we can see that this equation is pretty much the same thing as this one. The only difference is a minus sign, right? Minus, minus, plus, plus. So, we're going to ignore one of them and use only one. And we can determine that x1 is equal to negative x2. Now, to find the eigenvector, we're going to... Try to pick something that helps us have nice numbers. Don't pick like square root 76, okay? We're going to pick nice so it works out. Now, we see that if we pick x2 equals 1, we plug it in. That's going to give us a nice value for x1, which will be negative 1. So there you go. My eigenvector is, the uh, eigenvector 1 will be negative 1 for x, uh, where is it, x1 and uh, 1 for x2. There you go. We found our eigenvector. But we can see that uh, we're in a pickle because we have two eigenvalues but only I one eigenvector. So we need to fix that. We're gonna have to find a general eigenvector for our second one. So we're gonna call it u vector equals u1 u2 and it has to be such that it will satisfy this equation right here. A minus lambda i times the u vector that we just set up here equal to v1, my, our vector that we found right here. Here it is, my a vector uh, with the lambda adjusted accordingly, u1, u2, and my v1 from negative 1 and 1. We're going to use the for the lambda, we are using the negative 6 from uh, what we determined previously. Now, uh, just one side note. 
Uh, if you are dealing with an equation where you have more than one v1 found, like you would have three eigenvalues and two eigenvectors, now which one would you pick to put here? Well, that's going to be the uh, interesting thing because you have to figure out the linear combination of those two. And that's what's going to come here. Okay, so I have another example uh, in the same playlist where this you found this uh, video. And if you want to go look that over, I'm going to put it in the description too for a link. But here we have it easy. We just need to deal with this guy. So that's all we did. We took V1, plugged it in there. Okay, just remember if you're dealing with more than just one linear combination of those. Now I'm going to go ahead and solve this. We can see again that when we extract it and make two nice equations, again, they are just simply uh, multiples of each other. They are the same thing except the minus, right? So we can ignore one of them and use one equation and determine that u1 is equal to negative u2 plus one half. From here, if we decide to pick some nice numbers, right? u2, I'm going to pick it as zero that's going to lead me to have u1 as one half. So there you go. My u vector will be one half and zero. Now all that we have left is to write up our solution. Our c1 and c2, they are constant. And for the first eigenvector, here it is, c1 times the first eigenvector times e to lambda t. This is for the first guy. Now for the second one, the one that we found with the help of u, I mean uh, this one that we found, we're going to use with c2 times right here, this parentheses. It's not going to be just simply writing this again, okay? It comes with a little bit of different setup. Make sure you pay attention and don't accidentally forget it. So here we're going to have v1, the or regular eigenvector that we have found, times t e lambda t, okay, and then plus u, what we found right here, e lambda t. So make sure you respect this. Now plug everything in, here's my y, with the vectors plugged in, v1 plugged in, v1 plugged in here as well, here we have u, what we found, plug it in, and there it is. If you want to write it up y1 and y2 separately, you can nicely follow for better way of explaining it just take the top line of the vectors and then for y2 take the lower values from the vectors and you write them out like see for example y2 equals c1 times 1 this one times e to negative 60 that's what you have here plus c2 in parentheses we have 1 times t e negative 60 that's what you have here and here you have 0 times e to whatever it's 0 so just ignore it there you go that's our final solution thank you guys for watching please make sure you like the video so others can find it as well have a good day